Really bring that up. Right. Number 74, small guy at the cornerback position. Uh, a guy I had to argue and fight for to get him this high on the Stop. list. Stop. I had to fight for yeah, this You're a funny guy. Yeah, did, you did did didn't I, argue. You did had I, to kick and scream for this, huh? I had to kick and scream. You're a funny guy. Pull an R.E.B. tantrum in order to get him where he is. Oh, wow. I did. Number 74 at five foot five, 140 something pounds, cornerback Addison McGee, a two year starter for Lobos. Um, career numbers, let me just throw these out. As a junior, I don't think anybody cares about that. Career numbers for Addison McGee, we're looking at a guy that had 115 tackles, four for loss, three fumbles, fours, five fumble recoveries, 26 pass breakups, and 10 interceptions. An absolutely stacked stat line for a two-year player. And then when you see those numbers and see that he's 5'5", five, five, that goes along with it, uh, it's, it's, it's outstanding to me. I was there. And, you know, for every all 32 games that Eddie played, I was right there for. I was in the locker room for. I was in the off season for. Addy was a real leader on that team. Really meant a whole lot. And not that that means too much to go into this list, but 26 pass breakups, 21 coming your senior year. For one, that means people keep trying you over and over again, but you have to answer the call. So 21 pass breakups and seven INTs is stacked. And so that's for me, that's one of the reasons why I feel like Addy should be on this list. One of the most fiercest competitors I've ever been around. Uh, probably the biggest plays he's made was in Waxahachie, the coldest night I can ever remember. When uh, that was right, yeah, King Dallas and King K, Lobo West, and uh, well, I guess it ain't Lobo West no more. We Fuck that, yeah, we, we got. We lost yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Man, that is the first loss at King K. Yeah, wow. Anyway, so, uh, so we're at King K, and we're down twenty to zero to Waxahachie, and offense is struggling. Can't get it together. Defense, they were walking the ball down the field on us, and they have this huge running back. He's about 6'1", 230 or whatever. He runs on Addy's side, and Addy puts the helmet right on his kneecap. Whap. Game over for him. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. They scored six more points after he was out of the game, mm -hmm. and we scored 50. Um, beat him 50 to 26. So that's, that's just one of the few things that I remember about Addy. Not really like – at the same time, he's still 5'5". Five, five. So he's going to get, you're going to complete some balls on him. You're still going to, I'm scared to look at this mess. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. I'm scared to look at this mess. It was just a picture. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, he's definitely one of those guys that, oh, okay, that's, that's DL right there. Yeah. Ah, great. That'd be a perfect picture. Where'd you yeah. get that from? Oh, uh, you know. Yeah. Archives. Archives. Who's that, Willie Bond? That's actually Jarrell Williams. Is that Jarrell? That's Jarrell Williams. I can't see two, two ones behind it. I don't know. Oh, don't worry. I was anyway, at, I was back that, to I was at that game. Back to Addy. Uh, yeah, just a, a, to me, a fierce competitor and a guy that uh, that played bigger than his size. For him. He was a second-team All-State guy his senior year after those huge numbers. And so, that's for Anything you want to say on Addy? He was a hell of a player. I, I know you I, – I know. I wasn't big on him being on the list before some cornerbacks. But – I think Eddie does deserve a spy on the list. Let's just say that. So you, I fall. But you, yeah, you kick and scream, and it's scream only because it. it's not because Eddie isn't a good player. It's because I feel like it's better, better cornerbacks, cornerbacks than him. And to put a player in front of a player that I think is better, it just don't make sense. That's all. But yeah. Eddie, Eddie was a dog. That's no question. Eddie's been. A, he was a dog when he was playing for the fucking Time Pirates. Life, yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember going out to the field, and I kept hearing, "You gotta go watch Addy and Ping Ping, Addy and Ping Ping." I was like, "I definitely want to see these little niggas play them yeah. little hood names. Yeah, they better be good." Yeah. And I went to the get to the bottom field, and it was the smallest kids on the. I'm thinking, you out of know, all the kids out here, to watch some. I thought I was gonna see this big, <laughs> this big kid like running over people. I'm like, that's him, the little one. While we're here, and you mentioned Ping, Ping had a great senior year too. Oh yeah, shouts to Ping, man. Ping, my Ping cousin. made one of the best interceptions I've ever seen in my life. In the state championship games, when he went up yeah. and climbed the ladder and and brought one down. He had two huge. of them. But I'm just I, I didn't know he had two in that game. He had two. He had two in that game. Damn, huh. I do remember the one where he went up and climbed the ladder on. Over I remember that too. At the back of the end zone, Ping had a great senior year. Yeah, uh, thirty nine tackles, eight pass breakups, and seven picks as well. Uh, just. 
only that one year, so it's not really not enough to make the list. But shout out to Pino for having an outstanding senior year. Uh, next guy on the list is my one of my favorite running backs.